I'm Luke Tailgate Challenge. Don't you wish your cooler could be this cold all the time? What about with no ice? Today we're going to show you how to do that. This is the Bottega electric cooler. It's got both a fridge and a freezer with dual digital temperature. You're going to need something to power it up over here. We got our Reliant over here to power this up. We got dual things inside. We'll get this all cleaned up. You see the fridge is on this side, freeze is on this side, and your control panels right here. Let's get this thing fired up right now and see how it does in our next tailgating challenge. So we got it out here, we fired it up. So we got our power station over here. We have this cut on, we got the freezer and the fridge settings going. We set them down to what we wanted and it's whisper quiet because I hooked it up expecting to hear a lot more noise. You can hear a little bit, just a little bit of noise here. And we'll show that here in just a second too and listen to it. But right now it's going and we're gonna see how long it takes to get down to the temperatures that we set. All right, so you can see here, we're 60 and 55, it just started. You can see our battery on there. So we got a USB plug, charge phones. And here's the motor down here, listen. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, here we go. So this is about 35 minutes after we hooked it up. We got down to some of our ranges there. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. Again, ambient temps are going to impact that. If it's 100 degrees versus 30 degrees outside, it'll impact how quickly it gets down to there. But estimate around 30 to 35 minutes to get to your temperatures. All right, so a few minutes later, you see the freezer has gone back up. So it kind of, it went down and now it's coming back up and I've adjusted or touched nothing. So we'll keep our eye on this for a few minutes. All right, so a few minutes later, come back and it's back, back down to where it needs to be. And now even the fridge is lower than what it is. So it runs in cycles is what I'm seeing. So it goes up and then it cools back down. So it has some variability and it doesn't just simply lock in on a temperature long term, it appears. All right, so we've been testing the Bodega cooler freezer out now all day long. And so we have our portable power station on it. Again, you can charge it with a regular electrical outlet or even with a vehicle in the cigarette adapter as well too, to make sure you're keeping it at the optimal temperature. It's got dual zones. It's got the fridge and the freezer. It has a spot right here where you can charge your phone. It has handles on each side and it has these wheels right here. So when I initially saw the wheels, I was kind of like, I don't know how well these are going to do uh, with it. They, I mean, they, they don't look like they're going to do too much, but even through the snow that we did at Rocky Mountain National Park today, it went right through it. So I was impressed. The wheels don't look like much, but they actually are very effective at still getting over solid and even some of the icy terrain that we encountered today as well too. So with it, my feedback on here, more for just awareness if anything else, is that I feel like there's a floating zone in there, meaning that we had it set at 37 for the fridge and five for the actual freezer. And it's been, it's floated from five up to 20 and from 37, it's even been below, it's at 34 right now and it went up to around 40. So it's got a little bit of variability on there. Like it runs in cycles and keeps it around that temperature, but it doesn't fully lock it in. So if you come in here too, there's an actual light in the cooler right here that we'll show you at night on how that looks. It'll keep your beer nice and cool in the freezer or in the fridge. And it has removable spots like this as well to get out too. So again, I'm Luke with Tailgating Challenge. This is the Bodega Electric Cooler Fridge Freezer. Overall, for the price point, it does pretty dang good job. We talked about the areas of opportunity versus the ones that are pretty incredible for having a cooler that doesn't need ice unless you want it to have ice to keep it for some of your mixed drinks. Website at the bottom of the screen below to see all of the honest product reviews that we do and then follow social media because what we do is we test stuff just like this and then we turn around and give you a chance to win fun stuff every single week. Drop us a comment. What questions do you have? What do you think about some of these electric coolers that are now on the market? We want to hear from you. Until next time. It wouldn't be right not to finish with the ice cold beer out of the bodega. Cheers to that.